Hallelujah, family. Welcome. God bless you in Jesus' name. It's another day the Lord has made. I bring you God's words. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today, our prophetic word says, this is exactly what is happening with your spirit now. This is exactly what is happening with your spirit now. God bless you in Jesus' name. I pray that may you follow the prophetic word from the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. If you are new on this platform, I welcome you in Jesus' name. If you have not given this platform a follow, click on the subscription button. I'm the man of God God is using. I am live every day. Join me, let's pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. God bless you, family, in Jesus' name. Our prophetic word is talking about this is exactly what is happening with your spirit right now. And the Lord gave me a text in the book of Matthew, chapter number 26, where you heard Jesus say to the disciple, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. This is a particular moment of which the enemy was at work. The time of Jesus was running to the end. The time of which the disciples needed to stand with Jesus and pray. They were sleeping. Jesus told them, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. There are times in our life that we need to rise up and stand. I know you are hearing me. The spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. This word is coming to sharpen you in the name of Jesus. Then Jesus was telling them this, that at this particular point of time, the devil is at work. Why are you people sleeping? In this month of November, it's not the month that we ought to sleep. We know the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. That is why Apostle Paul says, the things I find it difficult to do, those are the things I'm doing. But the things that I can't do, those are the things that I am doing. Listen, family. The spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. This is exactly what has been happening. Don't allow your physical body to control your spirit. Your physical body is just a slave to your spirit. And the spirit is willing. No matter how weak the flesh is in this month of November, Discipline the flesh. There are times in our life that our husband, children, brothers and sisters, when they, they are wrong on something, we discipline them. People are being disciplined in church. People are being disciplined in society. When they go against the rules and regulation, they are being disciplined. Likewise, in this month of November, the law says you need to discipline yourself. There are times you find it difficult. Your body will desire things. It's not anything your body desires that you will give your body. You have been limited because you have been placing your body. You might be hungry. Your body needs food. But you decide that I am disciplined the body for three days without no food. Why? Because you want to seek God. The Lord says in this month of November, the spirit is willing. The flesh is weak, but we need to discipline the flesh. Even when the flesh is tired, that you don't want to pray, discipline the flesh and pray. At times, the flesh will hunger for clothes, for dreams, for food, for sex. Discipline the body. It's not any time your body requests for something that you give your body. The word of God is coming to you in this month of November. I would like you to rush at the comment section and said, November, I will discipline my body. In this month of November, I will discipline my body. I declare and I decree in the life of anyone that is ready to discipline the flesh and walk in the spiritual in this month of November. You will see things of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. You will see hidden things in the name of Jesus. If you were blessed by this word, there is someone that needs this word to discipline the body. Share. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.